Hello, and welcome to this video on configuring Eclipse with the Deep Security Java SDK. In this video, we'll walk you through downloading the SDK, configuring Eclipse, and running a Java example from the Deep Security Automation Center. In order to download the SDK, you must first go to the Deep Security Automation Center at automation.deepsecurity.trendmicro.com. You can then click on SDK, and on the SDK page, you can click on Java SDK. Once there, you can select to download the SDK. Once the SDK has been downloaded, we'll open it up in Finder, and we'll extract the zip file. Now we'll launch Eclipse and we'll configure Eclipse to use the Java SDK. So in Eclipse, under File, we're going to create a new Java project. We'll call this Deep Security APIs. We'll click Next. Then I'll deselect the create module info.java file. We don't need it for this example. And I'll click finish. This will create the Java project. Now we need to go in and modify the build path to point to the Java SDK. So to do that, we right click on deep security APIs. We select build path, configure build path. And here we go to the libraries tab. We'll select class path and we'll select add external jars. We'll go to the download location where we extracted the Deep Security Java SDK. And in that folder, we're going to select the Deep Security 11.3.184 jar file to add to the build path. Once that's added, we'll click on class path again, add external jars, and we'll go into the lib folder. This time we'll select all the jar files and we'll add them the same way. We've now configured Eclipse with the Java SDK for deep security. Now we're ready to run a sample deep security JavaScript. So let's look at how that's done. The first thing we'll do is we'll go back to the Automation Center. This time we'll click on API Reference. Here we'll get a list of all the APIs that are available. We're going to go to the computers and we're going to select the list computers API. Now on the right hand side, you can see there's an area for request samples. You can see that there's options for Java, Python, and JavaScript. We're going to use the Java example, so we'll make sure that Java is selected. And then if you just click on any part of the code, you will see that a little copy button will pop up. We're going to copy that and we're going to copy it to the clipboard. Now we're going to go back to Eclipse, and on the source folder, we're going to say new file. We're going to call this list computers example .java. And we're simply going to paste all that code we just copied into this file. Now we need to modify two lines. We need to modify the API key line and we're going to enter the API key that we created in the previous API key video. We also need the host name of our Deep Security Manager. So we'll open up a browser and go to our Deep Security Manager. We'll copy the URL including the HTTPS and up to the colon 4119. We'll paste that into our code and then we'll add slash API afterwards. And that is just to point out that we need to access the API components of the Deep Security Manager. Now we're ready to run the example. So we'll right click on the source file, so on list computers example.java, and we'll select run as Java application. If the file runs successfully, you'll see output in the console 
on the bottom right hand side of Eclipse. And here you can see that our run was successful and we have output relating to all of the computers that are in the Deep Security Manager. So now you've configured the Java SDK and have run a sample script from the Deep Security Automation Center. We encourage you to repeat this process with any of the other examples that are available on the Automation Center for Deep Security. Thank you.